Hey everybody, my name is Keith Vincent. I'm the uh, fourth class operating engineer here at uh, Cambridge Memorial Hospital. And today we're in the control room of the Cogen uh, CHP, in which the hospital has invested a considerable amount of money to save a lot on electricity consumption. So what you see right here in front of us is an overview of the Cogen system, a very basic overview about where the generator and the engine are, exhaust, waste heat recovery, a couple of the uh, heat exchangers and the rads. Over here you'll see a controller that will then, if it was operational, which it is not right now, it would show the voltage, the power that is creating and sending to the hospital, along with uh, some amperage and uh, other important power factor uh, information. Here they've just got, got some controls here that allow the Cogen to operate. They're currently off. we got some work being done today by Toramont. So here, this is where all the power is made for the hospital. Uh, it consumes um, 600 volt electricity at anywhere between uh, 500, mega, 500 kilowatts to 1.4 megawatts. And uh, that's helped offset electricity consumption within the hospital. It's a gearbox reducer for the RPM from the engine to match RPM for the generator so that we can create reliable electricity. Over here we have Toramont is doing some work for us. They're going to be measuring valve lash and other measurements within the top end of the engine so that they can get a baseline for predictive PMs. It is a V12 uh, cat engine. Um, not exactly too sure what the horsepower is, but uh, we do know that the turbo produces 70 PSI worth of boost to help with uh, power generation. Water is then moved through the water jacket system along with some other, some other systems as well. And then that heat is also uh, captured from the exhaust and it runs through a boiler which is on top of the unit. It runs and soaks into glycol which is then pumped in through the hospital to offset any uh, heat loads uh, that the hospital may have, especially handy within, for the winter months. Here we have the uh, electronic engine control and management for the, uh, for the entire system here to help run it reliably and safely. And it also warns if there's any, uh, any issues with the engine. So it's, uh, it's a pretty short tour. Other than that, this is pretty much uh, where the magic happens for this.